I want another reward! <laughs> Hello and welcome to another postdoc vlog! I'm Iris, I am a postdoc, and this month, as promised, was very exciting and it actually became even more exciting, way more exciting, than I thought it would at the beginning of the month. So let's dive into what I did as a postdoc in October. Well, first of all, completely non-work related, I went hiking. I mean, it was a very, like, a small hike. Ever since I lived in the UK, I had never been to the countryside yet. Now I had some friends and very spontaneously they asked me if I wanted to go along. So I went along and we went to Ilkley on the Yorkshire Moors, I believe. It was absolutely beautiful. The weather was not great. <laughs> it was raining quite a bit, but that did add to the general English feel of the walk. And I'm really glad I got to have that tiny little English experience that I craved for so long. And then I got very excited one day because I got an email. It happened on a Tuesday evening. And then luckily I remembered to film my reaction on Wednesday morning, just as I was about to embark for a trip to Oslo, also for work. Just a quick update. I won a grand. <laughs> I won an age you sharing science grant for science sisters. So we are now officially supported by one of the largest earth sciences unions in the world, if not the largest, I guess. Yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> Means I won't go broke making it. This is this is great news. Oh, yeah, very excited. More updates soon, because now I need to go to Oslo. Woo! Join me on the trip. Hello, I am in the airport on my way to Oslo. Woo! I have been invited to give a seminar in Oslo at the Center for Earth and at the Center, what's it called? SEED, the Center of Earth Evolution and Dynamics. I think that's what it's called. SEED, uh, from the University of Oslo. Uh, so I'm going there. It's going to be a very short trip as I'm flying tonight and I'm flying back tomorrow afternoon. Uh, very crazy, but I mean, they are paying all the flights and the hotel, so it feels terribly luxurious and really nice. And now I'm at the airport, way, 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 way too early. So I am um, reading some papers. I brought them with me and um, trying to make my day a little bit productive because it's mostly been traveling. Mm, yeah, and um, hopefully next time you'll see me in Oslo. <sighs> okay, I just got back from my dinner with friends, old and new. So great to see everyone again. Academia is a weird job, but it is pretty special that you make friends from all over the world. And now I just arrived at my hotel room, which looks amazing and I'm very excited. I still can't quite believe this is happening and that I'm here in Oslo. I'm gonna try and chill down from all the hype of meeting people and having just a really nice dinner, really, and um, then try to sleep in it tomorrow. I am meeting one of my colleagues at breakfast because he's also in this hotel, and then we're gonna walk up to the university, and then I give a morning seminar. Everybody hates a morning seminar. <laughs> but my seminar is at a quarter past ten because I'm already leaving in the afternoon, so I'm sure everyone will be very happy with that, especially the people I've just <laughs> been having dinner with who We've had quite a few drinks so we'll see um but yeah going to talk about earthquakes and tsunamis tomorrow morning in oslo at the center for earth and evolution earth god damn it at the center of earth evolution and dynamics there we go at the university of oslo oh my god it sounds so cool <laughs> why am i here <laughs> ah so cool okay i'll see you tomorrow
I didn't film much on the actual day of my presentation because it was such a busy day. I was at the institute for maybe two and a half hours, an hour of which was my seminar. And it was just too busy with traveling to campus and then traveling back to the airport and traveling back home that I just, I just didn't manage to get my camera out. But I did manage to film some nice footage of the Norwegian countryside when I was in the train from Oslo to the airport of Oslo. So that was crazy. I spent less than 24 hours in Oslo. Really nice to just see everyone again. We had some coffee chats. Let's just say I can't wait for conferences to go back to normal again. So maybe Maybe now is the time to look at my to-do list for October, which included a lot of things at the beginning, but rapidly expanded throughout the month, as it usually does. And one of the things that you may notice is that there is a lot of things that come with sharing science, like the sharing science grant that I won. Because with great grants comes great responsibility and administrative work. And then imagine my surprise when a few days after that, I got another email. I won another reward! <laughs> Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I'm very, very unprepared to actually be filming. <sighs> We're going to make a game, like an actual Earth Sciences children's game. And it's going to be so cute. And now I really need to work on it. And I don't have time. Quartetnery. <laughs> I won two awards in two weeks. This is a good October, guys. I need to tell Lucia. We won an award together. <laughs> oh, I really need to work on this. I really need to. I need, I can do this. I can do this. Does this mean I don't have to pay for each EGU? Like the registration fee? That'd be amazing, because I don't want to burn through my DLR travel grant. I'm very happy. I'm also very terrified, but it's going to be really nice. I mean, I'm imagining at DLR, they're happy that I'm bringing in awards and grants, but they must also think, yes, what on earth are you doing? You don't have time. You need to work on Venus. I'm like, yes, I will work on Venus. I love Venus. I'm really loving my project. And I'm... Okay, don't talk yourself down, yes. Don't do it. Be happy, be proud. Don't think it's an inferior award because it's outrage. Your talent has been recognized. I'm really happy. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> this was a very incoherent clip because I literally filmed it the second after I got the email. I hadn't emailed the person I won the award with yet. So it's it's just me first reactions being, ah! Uh, and I'm still like that inside, but I can now articulate it a bit more. So what happened was that I won the EGU, which is the European Geosciences Union, and they have a public engagement grant, which they hand out once a year to a few people. And I had had this idea for the longest time. Well, since the AGU full meeting conference in December 2018, I just got this idea for a children's game, a card game, about the geological time scale. In 2020, did manage to get to know Lucia Perez Diaz, who is a brilliant earth scientist, a brilliant illustrator, and a brilliant partner in crime. Yeah, I don't know, it really clicked. I think our ways of working are really similar and we're both very driven and we have a lot of ideas and together we can realize those ideas. It just really works as a team. We decided we should submit a proposal, so I wrote the proposal, I got feedback from her, got feedback from a lot of friends actually to make it the best that it could be and we submitted it in June, I think, it's probably in the post of vlog somewhere and we were supposed to hear back from them in early September and we didn't so I just assumed we didn't get it or the grant maybe wasn't going ahead this year but then we got this email and we got the EGU public engagement grant it's terribly exciting I'm very happy I'm very excited to make this card game a reality you can follow us on Twitter at Quartetnery and we will keep you updated October was a very successful month I enjoyed it a lot November is also going to be probably very exciting, very hectic. My move to Berlin is coming up. I still have no apartment. I am stressing out, so stay tuned to see if I am able to move to Berlin or if I am going to be homeless. <laughs> What a hook to end the video on. Bye. Amazing. I'm such a good vlogger. Okay, next step. 
win awards for my science.